I had read that you actually had Kit's、uh, camera. That was actually Kit's camera that you used in the film.、Um, yeah. Yeah. And、uh, and I, I, it, it, it got me thinking about you sort of really、uh, immersing yourself in Kit. And I wondered what kind of role Michael had in all of that.、Um, had he shared with you some details about Kit that brought you closer to who he is to play this role? Yeah, yeah, he did. In、uh, as soon as I finished reading the book, I emailed Michael, and、um, he then emailed me back and just made himself a very open resource for anything Kit related, or, or him related, their relationship related, really,、um, including including artifacts and、um, sp- specific things. And it felt very powerful to hold that camera on set and to think that I was doing the thing that Kit did with it. I, there was something just very sacred in the object itself. But then,、um, yeah, I, 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 other things that I asked him questions about, and that really helped me. I think I just took loads of like pleasure and enjoyment out of looking at, at, at this. Was、um, was Kit's photography, and he has an active、uh, the Kit Cowan archives on Instagram and also his Flickr account. And that I guess I was surprised at how much that gave me an insight into the way he viewed the world. And he was a documentarian, so. Um, just very like quirky observations. There's a lot of humor in his work.、Uh, the thing, the kind of the things that he t- he captured of beauty were very specific to the way he saw the world. And Michael told me that really Kit's camera was Kit making sense of the world and of himself. He also took a lot of selfies. Um, uh, probably in a time where not many people did, but I, you know, lots of famous photographers have have. Done that as well, and I don't know. I just really enjoyed poring over the photographs, and and they helped me in a way that I didn't think they would.、Um, yeah, there were there's the moment where、um, there's the sort of degaying of of Kit's place right before the parents come.、Uh, it's funny because I feel like that's relatable to every gay person. I just remember my like my parents and trying to. To look at guys, but also to not let anyone know that I was looking at guys. And I wondered for you, like, did you relate to that particular experience at all in your own life? Yeah,、um, definitely. I think、um, I think something the film does、um, very subtly it, it is show show us that the journey of You know, as gay people, we probably until the moment our parents find out about our, our, our true selves, our authentic selves, we are very used to kind of managing their handle on the truth and of what they know about us. And I think it can keep a distance between you and your and your parents. And certainly, I could relate to that.、Um, and I think what happens in the film once Marilyn and Bob know and and、uh, and are accepting, we then see. Just to see, you know, a couple of scenes later, how much Michael, and, Michael and Kit have become. There's just such an honest exchange between them, and they accept Michael and Kit. I think it just deepens a relationship, a parental relationship for them to really know who you are. Of course, that makes sense, and for you to feel comfortable. And I, I did really relate to that. And I think, yeah, the degaying of the apartment, I, I can relate to kind of almost degaying myself a little bit when, when going home when I was younger, and maybe p- p- potentially dressing differently or just being more conscious of that. And、uh, yeah, I'm glad that that element of of the of the book is represented in the in the film. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely relatable. I love that Kit uh, had uh, beaches, not just beaches on DVD, but the special edition. I caught that the camera lingered on that shot, and I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Both those DVDs are very specific.、Uh, Sarah K. White, the designer, everything in that apartment was so specific to a the book, but then things outside of the book that you know she shared. We shared several emails back and forth about what I wanted. To their like books, certain books, such an art, certain art books, and and that that apartment, including the DVD collection. Wait, was the Beaches DVD your contribution then? No, no, that was that wasn't my contribution.、No. <laughs> um, but if you look at them, if you look at all those films, they all make a lot of sense. <laughs> <All the DVDs. laughs> For just a gay man in general, they make a lot of sense. Yeah, but it was so that apartment was so beautifully designed to go in there and be like, this is this is Kit everywhere. And again, there were there were things of Kit in there. So, so yeah, it was very cool.